I will be right back. You two keep talking about like anime and stuff. Ooh, talk about End of Tomorrow and killing Tom Cruise over and over again. I have not seen End of Tomorrow. And it's like, do I hate Tom Cruise enough to watch him just like uh, be killed over and over and over and over and over again? I mean, it's like I can see the appeal of that. Uh, I feel like I saw this movie with my ex. Hmm. We went to it repeatedly because it was a bad movie and it was playing everywhere. And like, it was one of those things that we could just go to over and over again and make fun of through the whole movie and nobody complained about it. Hmm. So there's that. So I guess like for how bad it is, I could watch it and enjoy it. Hmm. Edge of Tomorrow. That's it. Edge of Tomorrow. Okay. I thought it was End of Tomorrow for some reason. But yeah, no, I'm pretty sure this is what I want. Hmm. Yeah, I definitely agree that like uh, Tom Cruise is just like way too pretty, way too good looking. And it's like how he still is, can be an uh, action hero at the age that he is. As, yeah, yeah, I agree. Mythical Hunt is like very conflicted about like Tom Cruise. And uh, I do enjoy the Mission Impossible movies, uh, yeah, actually, even like the last one. It was like, even though know, that trailer is just so ridiculous when like the Harold yeah henry's uh Kevel's character just like does the fist pump just like they have a sound effect and the like he's actually loading the gun i was half expecting that they would actually show up in the actual movie that's not how it happened uh and actually they framed that like scene in the trailer so differently because like uh and henry cable's character wasn't finding tom cruise in that scene that was much later on in the movie but still uh it's like but yeah i hate scientology just because uh for how what they do to their uh parishioners if it like I not inherently hate all religions. I just hate the bad parts of it. Fundamentalism for sure. And Scientology is just like how it's how it treats its how it treats its participants horribly in some cases or brainwashes them is that that'll be my problems with it. Big problem with uh like Scientology is their their weird um like it's it's the same problem that certain other churches have where there is a huge amount of emphasis on uh extracting finances from the the people who rely on them for emotional like uh stability essentially and that is such a disgusting system to exist under you know Agreed, agreed. Yeah, that part of it is like the yeah, that's a different problem with it. Um, there's also I don't like uh, Scientology. Also, seems to like uh, put it in there, or seems to be in part of its tenets of like, no, don't get like external health from like psychiatrists or psychologists, or like don't take a pill to like make yourself better. You can like, uh, you can improve yourself just through our process and all. And I'm just like. But that that's not that's not good for a lot of people. And if they if people seriously do have like uh, mental health issues, they should see a, a professional and get like therapy and get all that sort of stuff. To be to, you can't just pray all that way. You have to like understand the condition is this. Now I'm, I'm speaking as someone who's just normally typical, so I don't have any personal experience with mental illness. Um, yeah, Scientology I... is more nakedly abusive than most religions, but it's not like it's different in that respect. It's just um, more yeah. visible in what it is. Yeah, does. I was uh, going to say it's, um, it's frustrating how uh, Scientology essentially, um, hey Lex, uh, Scientology essentially like presents itself as um as a uh something new active competitor like in a business sense to mental health and mental health treatment 
That's yeah. That's yeah. I I I do agree with that. They're taking away our business. Because a lot of a lot of religions do uh, essentially function on the idea of um, people using them instead of healthy coping mechanisms to deal with difficult things in life. Mm -hmm. um, but they just like they straight up approach it as a business competing with the industry of mental health treatment, and it's yep. kind of crazy. They do kind of like advertise to uh, take our stress test, take our uh, IQ tests, and wow, yeah, that's an interesting way to look at it and frame it. Yeah, makes total sense. Well, what's his nuts? Um, L. Ron Hubbard. He um, had mental health issues, but of course, this was back in the day when having mental health issues was even more heavily stigmatized than today. So he rejected that and said, no, no, they're the ones who are crazy. And then he uh, worked that into his little cult, which he started as a money-making scheme. I mean, it's, hell, but... it's never not going to be hilarious to me that people just don't think about the fact that he was literally a sci-fi. <laughs> 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 no, he was a war hero. That's what he was. It's it's like Jediism, but like unironic. Yes, yes, yes. And yet, some people kind of thought, "Hmm, what? But what if I decide to like take my values or my principles from like these this fictional writing?" Then, then again, I just realized, like, hold, hold on. There's subjectivism and ran bots. So, yes. <laughs> <sighs> People do do that. <sighs> and All the time. Yes. So, I guess it just has to be the right kind of fiction, or they just have to be good principles and good values. Then I yeah, hope it needs to be. It needs to be horror or fiction. So people should get their values from Scream? From... No, yeah, no, yeah. no. From uh, Lovecraft. Silent Hill. From Lovecraft. Yes. He had some good, good moral yeah. values, right? Yeah, Lovecraft was really great about a lot of stuff. Yeah, like gender and race and... The Jews. Yeah, all those things. One time, yeah, yeah. the villain in Lovecraft's thing was just a black woman. That was his oh, Eldritch wow. Abomination. Wow. It, yeah, uh, actually, Mitchell Hunt. Yeah, I, it's, I did have a friend that, that like did like spend time with like family in like Idaho um, or Montana, one of those places, and. Um, and they did try to like convert him, and he, it, it, they, sh it, and he shared that like he has these thoughts and his, these kind of like thoughts of, in his mind. But like this, this uh, relatives that were fundamentalists did say like that's the devil trying to like trick you, and you have to be a Christian, a good Christian, in order to to, to be saved. And it's just like oh god, I had a conversation with them. They send me the Passion of Christ to try to convert me. That's such a bad way to do that. Yes, I I hated that movie. I hated Jesus Jesus Chainsaw Massacre. And yet I and yet I do honestly think okay, no, this this movie is still salvageable. Just like in it's in the last half act of the movie, which is like the like which is the three thirty minutes or like sixty minutes long like bloodbath of, uh, of Jesus suffering. Uh, to just cut each of those scenes by 50% and then edit it down and it'll be more tolerable. But still, the end will be all of Jesus movies is because even after all that, Passion of the Christ would not be like, still would not be a good Jesus movie because the end will be all of Jesus movies is the last time change of Christ. No, I'm pretty sure it's the gay porn where he gives hand jobs with the holes in his hands. Oh. Oh. 
This is Thanks my body. <laughs> now, the second best of Jesus movie will be the comedy version of Mon Python Live. That one oh, yeah, is that excellent is a good as one. well. Yeah. Um, I still say we should go back to uh, to Saw and Hostel for our moral value. Because, mm, like, because Ethan is a. No, no wait. Uh, Saw was someone else, uh, but like uh, hostile. That was like, that was uh, Eli Roth. Yes, he is a he is a very good, very moral, very principled guy that you like to hang out with and, and chat politics with. Yes, I'm sure. I think we should go to seven. Anything we can do to make Brad Pitt cry. Oh my good. god. And What's if in the Kevin box? Kevin Spacey dies, so much the better. What's in the box? That's like the foundation of our religion now. What's in the <laughs> box? <laughs> <laughs> and nobody knows. You're not allowed to look in the box or we kill you. Curiosity killed the parishioner. Mm -hmm. Now you know about Pandora. The, I actually uh, just want to start a pagan religion. Or the myth? <laughs> I want to start a pagan religion based on the worship of Asherah. Asherah. I, I would be surprised. Whatever the female goddess that Judaism tried to kill. I would be surprised if there wasn't already like at least one relatively like healthy, sizable religion that is founded on specifically that. Did we just define the art of the covenant? Maybe, uh, except that it's a cardboard box. Yeah, I, I agree. And you it mean? only kills Nazis. It doesn't only kill Nazis. Well, all fash. It kills and all and and what's his name? Indiana Jones, because he was kind of a rapist. But Marion would I have been think okay. Kind of is a little more polite than he deserves. I'd love to get a thanks to my one patron, but a special thanks to my one patron of Echo Anarchist Squirrel. Thank you, Echo Anarchist Squirrel. 